And welcome back my friends, welcome back to ever so amazing Age of Wonders Where we are continuing off with overly amazing Age of Wonders If you didn't know this is Age of Wonders 1 by the way Anyway, moving on, last time was the last time This time around we are on a new mission We are finally at Lunares and we are supposed to help uh, these guys, which we're not supposed to have, these are the Wood Elves that are going to be our allies for the entirety of the mission, so they have their own base of operation at the moment, of Castfell. And we're supposed to help out a city, a stronghold city in the middle of the lake, here it would seem. So, probably this part here, that's where it is, we're supposed to help it out, we do not know exactly the situation. We do know that there are um, possible frostlings to the north which is around this location somewhere and of course orcs and goblins that is the combination of orcs and goblins and of all the, over here you can actually see uh, on the bottom where my mouse pointer is the exact amount of factions right now there is always a neutral faction I believe so there you go it's usually gray one I, I can't see actual colors but there you go anywho uh, let's this time of course we have a ma big massive army, we do have halflings as a starting race we get a nice amount of gold of merchandise in 34 base income, 6 crop fields, it's all important how many crop fields are around uh, the base itself so that that's what it counts, I like that, that's again I just love those things, you know the, you know, the Age of Wonders is such a unique series compared to any other heroes of might imagine disciple. I mean, they're all unique in their own right, and when I do come to those uh, games and those series at some point, the much I did Heroes of Might and Magic 4, and they all have their own amazing stuff inside that makes them freaking unique and great to play. But at the moment we're talking about Age of Wonders. And of course, this time around we have a massive army, as you can see yourself. We have lots of halflings, pony riders, and all the stuff. Uh, up here, there might be something, it might not, but because considering that this is the end of the terrain, should I say, of the map, I don't think there is anything up there, so I'm not even going to try to waste my first turns on going up there. I'm going to go down here and explore, because, again, we don't really have to get close to my allies. Here, the wood elves or just the regular elves, which are the wood elves. There are wood elves and there are dark elves. That's how it works, I believe. So there you go. There, there are some dwarves here, so I'm hopefully they're gonna have a nice combination between each other because, again, we needed alliances and I'm hoping they're not gonna fight each other and gonna just, you know, like, collect them dwarves and have more armies as is. For us, we're gonna first think about what to do here because I think we can migrate to elves. The problem here is that, as you can see, halfling relation minus 15, elf relation plus 10. But we do not have the, the exact numbers of our relation to know the exact numbers we can allow to lose or gain with that certain faction. We can't see that anywhere, at least not that I know of. So I'm going to keep the halflings and the next city is going to be migrated specifically to the elves. Because honestly, we never... F utilized elven infantry ever in a combat situation in this game at least so let's try it out so first thing we need some pony riders of course why the hell not to upgrade that consider that we get a lot of stuff but we as you can see 224 minus 33 because we only have at the moment one city and that's about it and the amount of forces is really like it's a really massive amount of forces of course alongside with hero we get uh, the she is level 4 ever so amazing amazing queen of all and of course we do have a centaur and a pony rider which is fine enough the center is level 3 creature which is amazing stuff having a level 3 creature at the very start is always a good thing too, too bad we couldn't utilize the satyr but the thing is we have a cap that is a helmet uh, for our hero here that have that we've taken since the very first mission mind you this is the third mission the third scenario mission inside the light campaign if you will in the keeper campaign mind you the campaign between the keeper and like the bad guys they're not really bad guys i guess i mean they just want to nuke the, the humans consider the humans totally annihilated the elves and ruined the high elves and of course they want to kill them okay understandable thing you know you can understand the hate for what humans did they were the plague, and but the keepers want to keep that kind of. They want to try and help out the humans 
and keep the relationship going, you know. Uh, but yeah, anywho, you know, you know, you can just look and say, okay, these guys are not really the bad guys, or these guys are not really the good guys. Maybe the the good guys, the keepers, are too naive, considering that later games the the humans become even more aggressive and retarded, specifically in two and three. Anywho, but that's for the later date. At the moment, we shall move on first and foremost. Combine for certain armies like this, amazing. We already have a massive freaking army, sexy like a beast. Sexy like a beast and a mana immediately in front of us a little bit of mana now considering that we have these two massive army my thinking goes that the enemy has a massive armies all around right they're gonna probably nuke us with everything they have and mind you this is all blind as fudge so we really reality wise don't know what to expect <clears throat> now Lunaris is a second level city I believe no up to level one honestly the look of this and some regular half length cities that we had before it's just ridiculous this looks like something that would be level 2 or level 3 we never actually upgraded any of our cities ever so there might be a change in look or may not at all like maybe this is just because it's like one of the main cities one of very important cities between this and of course between the elven cities and whatever is in front of us now uh, so yeah, let's see what this, this says. The sign reads, to get to the United Cities, take the ferry south or travel north by land. Ferry or north. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy, that's gonna be... That, you see, this is a shipyard. We can utilize the shipyard from this and get to the United Cities or go to north and do a little bit of barbaric situation with the enemy. The thing is also that we, I would like to explore a little bit with uh, my certain units. Uh, so, I might just uh, move one of the Pony Riders up front to charge into the enemy territory and see what the fudge is happening. Okay, we have some neutral cities al already. I believe that's a neutral city. Independent. Yeah, there it is. Independent. Excellent. I'm gonna pick up that mana because we really need mana. And we need the cities themselves because, again, the reasons. There are reasons as to why we need cities. I don't know if she has... Did I take Climb over, over Walls? I know that I deleted one of the videos previously for uh, the second scenario where I did take uh, go over walls and take the, yes I did I mean I didn't take the, that that was in the in the in the video that I had to erase doesn't really matter that's fine because I would just go over the walls and stuff like that at the moment from what I'm saying there are no walls so that's great but still I'm gonna try and make immediately also Q that is a one battering ram at least one battering ram and that, and that's one turn. That's great. Really? One turn? All my units... But cause, honestly, am I looking this in a wrong way? Like, upgrade level 1. Enhancements. Maybe I'm looking this differently. Like, it says upgrade level 1, right? Uh, <laughs> like, well, maybe it's upgrade level... Maybe it becomes from the 0 then to 1 to... Oh, could be, could be. Let me see this. Because there is an upgrade here. Let me see. Upgrade, yeah. As you can see here. But it doesn't tell you which level it would go on to. But I mean, this is the, this is something we had from the very beginning, the very first scenario. This way of choosing units and now you see these many cards are locked. And as soon as you upgrade each city, you get unlocks. But considering this is a default stance, well, default card deck, you would think that this is just a basic city. But by, by the looks themselves, it looks like a level 2 or 3 city. But again, it depends on do the cities change look as you upgrade them on the map. Anyway, and plus, usually if you upgrade a city, I believe at least, you get like one turn for each of that unit instead of two turns. You know, that is specifically to the level 1 units. Anywho, that's it. That's all we can do. We're making a battle ram, which is great because we definitely will be needing that. Oh, automatic combat against me? Honestly? <laughs> well, we can go automatic and see what is gonna happen. I don't have no idea what this douchebag thought he would do, but there are two orc riders. Yeah. How do you like them apples? Thank you for level. Probable level, maybe somewhere. 
down the line. Thankfully, also, we lured that son of a bitch. Okay. You son of a bitch. <laughs> he took the freaking mana right beneath me nose. What a douchebag indeed. What a douchebag indeed fight. Excellent. Bye bye. I no need to really. That I mean, one flying bird, right? One flying bird against me. What are they gonna really do? Uh, so it's not independent now. It's uh, used by goblins, and there are some. <laughs> there is a not lob, halfling city, and they are all got a little bit pretty much damaged actually. They want some battles because you can see the metal here seeking refuge. Let's go immediately there and talk to them. And allow our queen to capture this city. And I believe we can do that. Yes. Excellent. So I'm going to talk to these fine folk. F62. Go for it. I'm taking that city like a beast. Thank you very much. And now we're going to go for mines. Which is independent at the moment at least. Uh, we will need uh, also walls. Yeah. We will be needing walls. Instead of this I'm going to be... Building walls, fortify 60, Jesus. Yeah, you know, like, uh, 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 we don't really have, at the moment, the chance to get a huge chunk. Like, the money is being wasted left and right, it's minus 16. And we also have another city, which is, again, 21, but considering the amount we are wasting, I'm gonna move only a Pony Rider and capture that mine. Actually, only minus six at the moment. That's fine, but not good enough. So we're gonna be taking the Goblin City. This is actually a quite a big Goblin City. Of a Glotzberg. If we can capture Glotzberg, we can definitely do some damage to the Goblins and plus get that economy down and plus get some beautiful economy for ourselves as we go. You know, get some crop fields and stuff like that and have fun with that. I'm thinking to do the Lunaris specifically now, immediately bring the walls. Because I'm afraid that the enemy might just go from the bottom up and rape, pillage and burn everything that we have. As we have yet, I mean, I mean we have seen enemy coming from this location and this thing is undefended like nobody's ass. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's see, can I attack? Can I help out maybe here? No, that's fine. I mean six of us will be easily Well, we can easily take and take that beautiful uh, City which I'm going to in tactical this time around because I'm gonna a little bit a little bit worried about certain units here Again, specifically the goblin bomber and if someone misses a target and considering there is a huge chunk of trees all around It would be problematic for certain units so archers over here thankfully we have a centaur uh, I believe I can cast some beautiful spells, specifically healing, because I tend to forget to enchant or at least heal. No? Okay. Strangely enough, I can heal. I know that you can't heal and do that on the battle map. For some reason at the moment I can't do that. Yeah, at the moment. Oh, we don't have enough of mana, first and foremost. That's why we can't do it. Yeah, those sons of bitches <laughs> took crystals or mana crystals right in front of us and I do like the look of the mana crystals I just like the look it's so 90s it's ridiculous uh, so let's see we have the dwarf axemen and the first time we have dwarves in our party we have dwarf axemen and we have a dwarf berserker which is sent round attack excellent of course let's get the centaur up and running and get our hero also up and running over here to do the maximum amount of damage to the enemy, of course. Uh, get, uh, if possible, our dwarves just to hold the line and if, if the enemy dares to intrude upon us here. Hopefully no splash damage, massive splash damage from the Goblin Bomber. We'll see how much we can really do against that Goblin Bomber. As he's gonna definitely move on our, uh, you know, well, towards our hero first and foremost. Let's see. Yeah, they don't care. That's actually quite good because our archery level is quite nice. So we could try and kill these bastards. Okay, wait it out a little bit. 
uh, maybe right here. Yeah, right here. Excellent. Archery, we'll see. Next turn. We're gonna check out. I mean, thankfully, this is not like really timed or anything. You did nothing. He tried, but did nothing. Oh, they're going immediately for our queen. Thankfully, our queen is not a noob anymore. She is a level 4 creature. <laughs> and she did an amazing job. Enter. Change. Immediate migration to elves. Problem with the elves is they take five turns to migrate, and that's that takes a long freaking that's a long freaking time for us to just wait it out. So for this city specifically, I'm gonna leave two units maybe here to guard, but I don't know because it's all dependent upon the city itself. Uh, dependent on its level, and how many you know. Usually in level one cities, you would have maybe one or two enemy units that will spawn because they're rebelling. But the problem also is if we allow enemy too much of a opportunity to just go around and capture stuff. It's minus six at the moment. Yes, of course, because at the moment we are holding Glotzberg, it's, it's definitely not in our hands, it's in Goblin hands. So we can't really do anything about that at the moment. But I'm gonna go up here and check out if we can get Frostlings on our side. I would like that because Frostlings are my favorite race to play with okay it's time to cast some spells honestly because if possible six plus three yeah we can't cast spells of course we don't have enough mana oh man oh there's a spring of life good stuff to heal your units of course now what what to do with this army specifically this is a massive army first and foremost we can go up or we can go down and secure whatever comes from the down. Well, secure that route. Because honestly, at the moment we are securing with this army this point, so the enemy can try and take. So I'm going to move this army specifically down. Utilize this pony rider to explore a little bit and see how that's going to go. Excellent job. They befriended that one city of uh, the dwarves. So that's a good thing. I don't think there are going to be any migration, considering that they are allies, and that would uh, definitely be a bad mojo for the elves and the dwarves, because that alliance would probably dissipate as the time goes on from bad relations. Okay, I mean, this army can manage anything, considering that we have two slingers, swordsmen, and a lot of pony riders. Honestly, a lot of pony riders. So I'm gonna keep that as is. You up. Go. Go. At least we'll know what the fudge is happening all over the place. These are the mountainous areas, so these pony riders are, would be kind of useless to go over there. But thankfully now we are opening quite a bit of a view towards uh, the main thing. We can go over north, we can go to the south. I don't know if there is a time limit. Let's check that. If there is a possible time limit. Background. Conquer the map. Uh, players on the map, maximum sphere level of 3, maximum player heroes 1, okay, no, all ally victory is enabled, which of course that's why we have an ally, so we win, they win, it's all in a good fun, one turn left, I will always be needing uh, walls <laughs> uh, for my cities, but we're kind of losing a lot of money, and that's not a good thing, that definitely is not a good thing, uh, so I may even disable the fortifying it might give us some money back or something like that i'm gonna go of course searching for the mines of moria we're searching for some mines of moria let's get you inside this army thank you very much and the turn i moved right i moved everything fudge if i know i honestly sometimes just forget what i'm doing i was hoping the elves would move a little bit into that sphere of influence, but they're actually going underground directly, considering the underground is very close to their own home anyway. Those are dead lands. Oh, damn. That's a lot of enemies. Okay, plus one. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So there comes a big army. Nothing to really worry about. 
that's not an army I would worry about. They are primarily orcs, as you can see. The goblin owns this party. The goblin shaman, which is level 3, I believe. Level 2, sorry, level 2 creature. And I have some kobolds, which are not bad because, honestly, cheap, effective cave crawling night vision and poison immunity and poison strike. That's quite evil indeed. Run away. <coughs> uh, so that massive army is coming down. Now what to do with this? I could just hold it off and wait it out now that we are actually getting some money out of all this. And not getting any money of course from this part. Uh, questions? I have no idea what to do. We'll see. I always would like to have my hero, you know, on the battlefield always, just to get that XP, but she's gaining XP anyway, as long as, I believe at least, as long as the en as we are finding the certain enemies with any armies on the map, I believe your hero still gets XP, as we have seen sometimes she gets just XP out of the blue, so to speak. So what I'm gonna do here, move this army except one pony rider, and everybody else will be moving here. So one pony rider will go move down and see what the fudge is happening, should have done that from the very beginning. I mean, there, and there it is, there is a shipyard, I don't think it's actually connecting to anything, yeah, okay, so this side is completely free for us to do anything, at least it feels, but there are these mountainous, small mountainous areas which will definitely be able to traverse with units, so there you go, but if you've seen the direct route is through these, as you can see, of course, we have these magnificent stone structures of stones, or stony structuring, which show, of course, tells us that some evil things are moving about. Now, these are all owned by goblins. Okay, good to know. Now it's going to be owned by me in the next turn. It's going to be owned by me in the next... Now, all those orcs and all that, all those goblins don't have any... They, they are going to get penalty in the forested areas. So that's a good thing. So there are three turns here left. We have a, two massive armies. Uh, three turns, yeah, three turns left. I could leave certain units here to guard. Let's see, what do we have here? We have one pony rider. I want to keep pony riders. They're good to have. I'm going to keep you guys. Excellent. I think that would be enough. Three units to guard the Goblin City. But I'm afraid, I mean, I'm afraid that because it's going to take a lot, again, five more turns and stuff like that. I know how many units I should leave there to guard for in case of rebellion. I could maybe allow four units. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. You know what? I'm going to leave it for now. Like that. And just see how this is going to go for us. See where the orcs really are going to be moving towards. As the red player is moving. Or some kind of red player. Now the green player is moving. Of course. Which is the wood elves. They're evil. If you and they took my money, my gold. Well, that's fine. Definitely no route towards us. They are. There may be a like underground passage for us to maybe join up. And yeah, that's about it. Cannot breach the walls, of course. Uh, and this is why we needed a battering ram, just to breach these walls. There's nothing really guarding it. Yeah, okay. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't move the entirety of army down there. This is why it's a good thing to have uh, this kind of stuff, like utilizing pony riders and utilizing these certain units just to traverse these certain places so you don't have to traverse with the entire armies. Just have fun. And because, again, this, I believe it's not really, you know, uh, how to say, doesn't have a time limit. Even maybe they capture the main city, that is, whatever the city we are trying to help out. It's still gonna go, maybe. If not, well, we can always restart the scenario. We'll already know what's gonna be happening in the future. Uh, so again, I'm gonna leave until this city is under con our control. That's two more turns. Fine by me. We are at least not losing any more gold, which is important. It's plus one. It's not really much, but it's enough. No, they definitely have a... I mean, there is a route here. It must lead somewhere else. So they have the underground, they actually have a few passages from which the enemy might screw us. And there comes the enemy flying machine. 
which we can't counter with anything that we have at the moment. Yep, that's about it. Run away. Yeah, the thing is, compared to the Age of Wonders 2 and Age of Wonders 3, you can't attack flying targets without anything that can actually counter flying unit. So that's a bad mojo. That means if you want to really control these parts, as you can see, they just move in the flying unit. We cannot counter without some slingers. That means I have to make a few slingers and hope that I have enough money to support all those stationary units here and there and everywhere. I'm gonna wait for these two armies to, you know, I'm gonna combine them and move into the enemy. Slowly but surely move into the enemy as we go. That's why I'm gonna wait out for this. And I'm gonna make some slingers. Produce, change, Q. I think three slingers would be enough. Maybe, we'll see. Again, this is gonna be a problem. Holy crap, what the hell is that massive freaking city? Orcs, Forona. That's a massive looking city. Of course, they captured that bullshit. Understandable. I can recapture that bullshit. Understandable. And we gain a level for some reason. And not really, we've had a few battles. So now the thing is, we can maybe go for attack, defense, and damage, or a little bit upgrade these specific skill sets or just continue going with upgrades in terms of like spell casting to poison darts which is not a bad thing to have mountaineering always a good thing wall climbing I'm adding that because honestly sometimes they we can we can actually go and screw over the enemy would we'll just walk you know like enter in daylight have a few goblins and stuff like that she can deal with a few goblins inside Cave crawling. Uh, no, charge dragon slaying bard skill. Extra strike 15. Let's go by the cost. We have 5 left. Mark and stream 3. That's good. That's really good. Attack plus 2, damage plus 1. That's cool. So there are 4 levels. As we're going with that specifically, I might even go with that. Mountaineering charge vision. Turn on that. Yeah, I'm gonna go add that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm happy with these small choices. There's so many choices, mind you. That's a good thing. You have so many freaking choices. Okay, we're getting plus 8. Fine by me. Now, we're gonna save here because I don't trust that Creature of Darkness. Save. I do not trust that Creature of Darkness that is just flying all around and being a douchebag. Uh, though, I could maybe make something oh no we can only make these bastards right a dragon ship a galley and a galleon i don't know if any of them can actually fight well against the flying units and block the enemy completely for now i'm not even going to be taking the tower fort i don't see the you know like the point of it maybe for now until i get some slingers going here moving here and i'm just attacking the bastard we also need a battering ram. For now, because of the money that we are... Well, we have issues with the money. Our upkeep just can't control this amount of units. So we need to go into an offensive this time around. Excellent. Excellent. So we're going to go into the, into the offensive. And hope that everything works out well. I really not like, not like the enemy just to pop up one of those reptilian bastards, the flying reptilian bastards, and just take my cities because they don't have any kind of defense. Okay, now we move down. Excellent. A reptilian bastard. Yep, there's a reptilian bastard. Of course, I can kill him easily. I have to just be sure about one thing, is that I can combine these forces when necessary. Automatic, I don't really don't have to carry, but like, honestly. Really? 
Really? <laughs> wow, that's bullshit. I guess I should have joined in on the fight, but that's bullshit. I need slingers like nobody's bitch. That's bullcrap right there. Uh, well, fine, I guess. I should have joined in the battle fry here. Yeah, that, that's okay. Fail! Honestly, they're not to expect, like, come on. Like, how, how strong is this group? Oh, to be honest, halflings are shit. Honestly, they, they throw pebbles at the enemy. Like, come on. Who does that in a game? <laughs> Except the half -elf. halflings do that. Like, come on. But who else does that? That's stupid. Okay, birds view, that's a good thing. Instead of those big towers, we can actually do that. Water, level 2. Don't need that. Water walking would help. This is actually a good thing, water walking. Because honestly, none of these spells really feel good at the moment. So now that we have elves, the thing is we can do here is make some beautiful archers. Elven archers, you only turn like one turn for each, but the thing is the money is an issue here for us. I really want to capture that damnable thing, to be honest. I really want to capture that. Like, take the tower fort and protect it with my units inside. So I need a battering ram also there. Uh, let me see. Change battering ram. Q. Excellent. Yeah, the amount of money is just going to be low for us. But at least I'm going to have a battering ram. There you go, amazing, just freaking amazing. Uh, it's a new turn, I believe. Yes, it is. I did not move many of my units. That's great. Of course. Uh, move on. What can we do? I mean, this army has no way, like, ability to attack the enemy. Oh, yeah, we're, we're gonna get fudged if we dare attack this force. I mean, we have two armies, and they, they have this massive East Turan. That city is well defended by a lot of units. Just by a lot of freaking... But I could deal a blow maybe to one of these creatures of darkness. Can I keep up? Yes, I can. Excellent. Maybe this. No, I can't, because he's over the mountains and far away, and I can't... Oh my god, that's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's too many units. Like, oh my god, look at this. Not that they're really, really, really strong, I guess. I mean, utilizing certain spells and stuff like that would help out. But just ridiculous. And yeah, we do need them. Well, we don't really need a battering ram as long as we kill all units inside with something. Uh, we could uh, utilize her just to go over the walls and kill the rest of the units and stuff like that, but it's just ridiculous. They Right there, they have a massive army. How do you counter that, you know? How the hell do you counter that? Thankfully, we have saved, so that's great. Elf, Archer, one turn. Not a huge money as a comeback. We'll see, maybe they attack us in this turn. It's gonna be an evil thing. And if they do, we're gonna cry. Okay, there you go. At least now we don't have to capture one of those things. Okay, they're running away. They're splitting up. They're splitting up. Oh god, they're splitting up. Let's split up more. Excellent. They're splitting up completely. That city is mine. For the taking. Yes, that's, that city is mine for the taking. Okay, well, let's attack. <laughs> Well, let's attack, because that's amazing. The enemy just fudged themselves over like nobody's bitch, and I'm happy about it. I'm actually quite happy about it. Let's go. So, moving my half and slingers and my pony rider like a boss. And having these. So, we can just attack these bats. I'm going to save you guys, and I wish you the very best. The next time, siege begins. As always, I wish you the very best.